Okay, so we uh, prepared some challenge for you. There you will see there are quite uh, potential uh, challenge. Um, most of them require machine learning uh, uh, as a solution, but we will keep uh, the challenge open. Uh, so you can use any technology, uh, any system, any kind of system, or hardware or software. So the first challenge is uh, it's related with uh, car driving safety. So you know, every year, millions of people die, uh, die uh, in car accidents. And this is due to distraction, uh, stress, um, or fatigue. Uh, so the, the idea of the challenge and that you propose uh, a system, uh, an algorithm, or hardware that can help uh, peop, uh, um, monitor the, the driver while he's driving. Um, so you can use any, any technology and do any analysis on the fly and real time using computer vision or and machine learning together. Um, the second challenge is related with uh, natural disaster. Um, so you can use uh, machine learning to uh, approximate behavior of a large population uh, when a natural disaster happens. Uh, with that, you can control and you can anticipate uh, strange behavior, especially when you know there is a earth earthquake. So, with machine learning, for example, you can uh, do simulation and uh, help um, government or the police to uh, drive people and help people and uh, uh, during a natural disaster. The, the third challenge has to do with uh, biometrics and with security. So you know, every day uh, a lot of people uh, travel and cross borders. And you know better than me, so when you get to the airport, to the harbor, there are long queues and uh, waiting to access uh, the border. They try to get you fingerprints in some country or verify your uh, ID. The challenge here is to propose a system that allows to identify people without stopping them. So, and you can use, uh, you can propose uh, ideas related with biometrics. So, um, using, for example, fingerprint or iris or face recognition or any other uh, technology for identification. Uh, the, four, the fourth challenge has to do with people counting. So this is a, a big problem. Uh, when you have uh, a lot of people, in, uh, especially in limited and closed area, uh, and you want to estimate how many people are there because maybe you want to um, uh, address security uh, issues or for example for advertisement uh, in big mall. Uh, so this challenge, what you, uh, we expect that you propose any uh, system uh, uh, that allows to count uh, moving people uh, on the fly, so in, in a real fast way. Food. Uh, so, you know, food is very important in our life. Uh, we eat whatever we get on our table, but how many of you know uh, knows, um, where that fo food comes from? Um, so it's difficult to really, uh, to really know uh, the origin of each uh, element that we, uh, we consume. So the challenge is uh, to propose a way to track the food from the origin till our table 
and uh, and have a clear uh, in a, um, a clear uh, tracking of uh, of the food uh, until we eat it. Uh, the last challenge, uh, no, it's not the last, the uh, sixth challenge is related with the uh, intelligent parental control. So, you know, we consume a lot of uh, content from TV, from internet, and it's fantastic, but what about the parents? So how can the parents really can control what the, the kids are uh, watching or who are they com uh, communicating with? Uh, so this challenge is to uh, find a solution or propose a solution that help parents to uh, control uh, what the kids are using in internet or from the TV and so on. And yeah, the last challenge is, uh, is this, uh, related with business. So you know there are a lot of company worldwide. Uh, they are trying to establish new business uh, in other country, and it's very difficult for many uh, company uh, to find potential part, uh, partner or potential uh, customer worldwide. Um, there are already some database available, uh, but they are not really uh, heterogeneous, they are very difficult to find. So the challenge is to propose a system uh, or a technology that help um, uh, companies around the world to find uh, customer or uh, partners in other parts of the world, take into account also different uh, languages and cultural issues. And this was last time. Yeah. Thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah. Thank you.